me in a better position to deal with those uncertainties. I feel extremely blessed um, and I see these different pathways as gifts waiting to be unraveled. So thank you very much Mr. Norman Makane and Arthur O'Eef for creating this wonderful program amongst all those others. Thank you. Okay, so we'll follow now with one student from the STEP program and one from C-STEP, followed by Liberty Partnership. Hello, everyone. My name is Atrocia Graham, and I am a 2007 graduate of the U Albany STEP program. Um, in 2011, I graduated from SUNY Oneonta with a bachelor's degree in psychology. And in 2014, I graduated with a master's in school counseling. Um, the UAlbany STEP program, STEP is an acronym for Science Technology Entry Program. And it's a student-oriented program that serves currently over 200 students right here in Albany. Um, they're underrepresented students from low-income families, and I've never been involved in a program that genuinely has confidence and believes in, in students. They believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Um, they tutor and mentor middle school and high school students after school. Um, and on Saturdays, you're actually mentored and tutored by UAlbany students on the UAlbany campus. You're constantly provided with models and role models, and they show you what you can achieve. Um, when Steph found me, I was a middle school student who was an expert at just getting by. Flying under the radar, average grades, well behaved. <laughs> um, I, I did everything not to bring attention to myself. And it was good enough for the public school system, but it wasn't good enough for you, Albany Step. They saw more in me and they held me accountable. Um, I wasn't only afraid of my mother anymore, I was afraid of <laughs> the people at Step. So that's what Step did for me. And they showed me that the sky is the limit. And I walked away from this program not only with a hunger and thirst and desire to pursue higher education, but they also helped me gain a family, an invaluable support system. And I saw that the theme of today was United We Stand, and it's just so funny because even though I graduated from this program in 2007, I'm still a STEP student. They won't let me go. Um, if I ever need them, they're, they're still here. I'm always step. So this is a, a valuable program, and I'm grateful for it. And how can you place value on a, on a program that is so supportive? And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Miguel Ramirez. I am a student from the University at Albany pursuing a degree in nanoscale engineering. And today I'll speak on behalf of CSTEP and everything that CSTEP has provided for me in terms of opportunities and academic guidance. So, coming from high school, I knew I wanted to pursue engineering, um, precisely aerospace engineering. So, when you get to college, you can either take that direct path or you either have obstacles impeding that path. Um, what CSEP has provided for me was um, a definite pathway to getting what I want. And I was faced with the decision um, whether to go to um, RPI for aerospace engineering or do nanoscale engineering. And I chose nanoscale engineering um, based on the advice that Dr. Christopher Fernando gave me. So CSEP provides academic guidance and help as well as you know, an environment full of energetic people pursuing STEM fields. Um, this past summer, I was um, fortunate enough to be given the opportunity to perform research at the university under the mentorship of um, Dr. Dembo in one of um, an amazing project that is geared towards um, helping technology advance in the future. Um, I would like to say that that opportunity has provided um, much more opportunities that. I will be um, given in the future. Um, I was provided the, I was given the experience for doing research, and with that, I was, I am going to hopefully do um, further my research experience on um, this upcoming summer, 
hopefully at Stanford University performing linear accelerator research or at MIT doing nanoscale on structured materials. So this wouldn't be possible without the help of CSTEP. And I'd like to thank Christopher Fernando, Felicia Collins, and Rolando Valentin for helping me get to where I want to be in the future. Thank you for your time. Okay, at this time, I would like to introduce the Associate Provost and Director of the University Center for Academic and Workforce Development, Ms. Lisa McKay. And someone left their telephone, someone left their telephone. We're gonna raffle that off. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, distinguished guests, family, friends, um, the time has come. Um, I had a long speech here, but it, I, I just said to Norman, we're here to recognize him and his efforts. And I just wanted to start by thanking everyone for coming out. Um, the student testimonies are a prime example of why his legacy is so important for us to remember. Um, I just said to him briefly, he said, you know, you know you owe me, right? Um, but that's nothing new. I think we talk about that all the time. Um, but I said to him, this room is just filled with so much love. And that, that love for him comes from his legacy, his dogged advocacy, the programs that he helped to um, push through in legislation along with uh, former Deputy Speaker Arthur O'Eve. And, uh, you know, from my perspective as a director of University Center, our programs, EOC and Attain, and our students are direct beneficiaries of his hard work. And I could not let another year go by without officially recognizing him. I had a long speech, but I wanted to just bring him to the front and just, we have a um, plaque that we want to read to him, uh, but then we also have a proclamation, not only from Assemblywoman Crystal People Stokes, but Senator Neil Breslin. So, Mr. McConney, would you please join us? CAWD extends its gratitude and appreciation to Norman McConney for his continued support of the SUNY EOCs and Attain Labs February 14, 2015. And I just have to say that this is a wonderful day and we are so, so appreciative of everything that you've done. We love you so much. Yeah. I told you, of course, you wouldn't be in politics if you didn't want to speak. Uh, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, you know, uh, I come from a SUNY family. My wife was EOP. I'm EOP. My daughter went to Del I. And uh, our daughter was at, at Empire. It amazes me that SUNY's always talking about the jewels their campuses. I think the jewel of SUNY is the EOCs. There is no other state, no other state in this country that has institutions of public higher education that have anything like the educational opportunities there is. We should be building more. We should be expanding it. Nothing like a day where we go out into the community. You listen to these young people here today. Yeah, we know the police is a problem. Criminal justice is a problem. Social system, a problem. But what's choking us is the educational system. That's our chokehold. And we need to throw that chokehold off. And we need to make SUNY get out here and market this jewel. Because for our community, educational opportunities to consider is making a difference in life. They are a life changer. And Arthur o. Eve, the godfather of these kind of programs, the only thing left from 30 years ago, all of the programs that existed are gone except EOP, EOC, EOP, Liberty Partners. That's it. These are the only institutions built in. And we 
need the big city. Step up to the plate. Step up to its responsibilities. Because this is not Sony's, this is ours. I love everybody, and I'm just overwhelmed. And thank God, <laughs> the boss, my wife, patched me up to get me out here. <laughs> so, she gave me a She gave me a chill, you know. So thank you, I love you all very much. So Mr. McConney, I would like to read to you first the New York State Assembly citation. Sure, no, go on, go on. <laughs> Whereas on February 13th to the 15th, 2015, marks the 44th annual Black and Puerto Rican Legislative Conference in Albany, New York utilizing the theme, United We Stand, whereas Mr. Norman McCartney served as Chief of Staff to former New York State Assemblyman and Deputy Speaker Arthur O.E. for 30 years, and whereas Mr. Norman McCartney was an agent for change in New York State government programs and services in public education, public health, and social services. And whereas Mr. McConaughey has spent countless hours negotiating key legislations on behalf of New York State's 19 million residents, especially the socioeconomic underserved populations of our society, and whereas nearly 55,000 EOP graduates live in New York State, more than 10,000 EOP students are enrolled at 43 of our 64 SUNY college campuses, Norman R. McCartney has been the catalyst for lives and families to be positively impacted throughout their educational journey. Now, therefore be it, resolved this February, Saturday, February 14, 2015, we recognize the gravity of Norman R. McCartney's contribution to education throughout this New York State, be it further resolved that it is certified by Crystal D. Peoples of the New York State Assembly 141st District. And this is the proclamation honoring Norman R. McCartney. Now this one is a little special because I got to get glasses in here. <laughs> Whereas from time else, I mean, oh, from Senator Neil Berlin, or Breslin, excuse me, take note of the citation individually that I wish to recognize for having given their time and energies to serve the best interests of their communities and publicly acknowledge their services. And whereas Norman McCauley has been the catalyst for lives, families, and generations to be positively impacted throughout their educational journey, and where it is the, the the sense of the sense of the senator that when individuals of, the, of such noble aims and accomplishments are brought to my attention, they should be celebrated and recognized by all the citizens of the great state of New York. Now, therefore, be it that I certify that this proclamation is being given by the Honorable Neil D. Breslin, New York State Senate, 44th District. Um, call the students that gave the um, presentations and um, other distinguished guests to come to the front so that we can take a few photos to EOC directors um, to memorialize this event. So please join us in the front. So all the students that just spoke, please step forward, as well as the distinguished guests that we have with us, as well as the EOC and EOP directors. We're going to do a photo opportunity here. Excuse me, stand right in front of my camera. Okay. 
Let me take this one for you too. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. I'll give you the number. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It is seven. You will come up. Okay. Okay, stay right there. I'm going to go. Stay right there. Stay right there.
got everything cool? Thanks, Kathy. Oh, that was just